Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we finally pull anchor to leave Ambon, celebrate the captain being another year older, and Lee plays with the anchor winch. We head off on our way to Bandanera in the Spice Islands. Our sail so far has been pretty beautiful and we are stoked to be on the move again. nautical miles from Banda. 75 nautical miles from Banda but we're going to stop if we can at an island that's closer it's like 65 nautical miles yeah. away. Yeah so we're hopefully it's not really a chartered island so there's very little satellite imagery of this island but um, I don't know it's by itself and we thought we'd check it out. So, there's a dive spot on avionics there it says and also yep. a few anchors on avionics which we don't always trust but we'll have nah. a look. So we'll get there early enough in the day that if it's no good we can get to the Banda Islands. Well the wind's dropping out it's like six knots from behind. We've had a really now. good day of sailing though we've sailed the whole day and we've kept up about five knot average so that's good and um, it's just dropped out. The sun's going down. We've had the wind on our beam all day and it's just gone to behind us but it's dropped to like five nautical miles. Five nautical miles. Five knots. <laughs> five knots of wind. <laughs> Lee's had his sleep today so he's gonna do an all-nighter and um, I'm gonna get to sleep all night. I was thinking the same thing too. <laughs> Set the autopilot, just hope for the best. Yeah, People do do fun. that. No, but, um, nothing's out here. I haven't seen anything. I don't anything. think I'd want to do that over here. I haven't seen like, anything for so many nautical miles. We were coming down the outside of Ambon yesterday and uh, there would have been a dozen fads, so yeah, fish attracting everywhere. devices, and they're just a massive heap of bamboo all put together. And, they're cute, um, they're little huts, they're actually really cool. Look at them at like 250, 300 meters of water, so yeah. you can see why they do come loose when we get a little bit of an ocean through here. Yeah, but that hasn't been anything for a while. We came across about, I, when I was doing watches, about six fishermen, and um, it was really cool actually. They had all these. I thought they were just out here flying kites. <laughs> I was like, that's really random. There's like six canoes and they've all got kites behind their boat. I was like, oh, they're all flying kites, that's nice. And then I was looking in the binoculars and I started to film them a bit and I was zooming in and I saw a guy pull in a massive fish. He was loading and didn't pull it in. I saw him like pick it up from the boat and put it in his esky. So and, I was downstairs having a snooze, so I'm assuming they were like running like a popper along the surface. Well, um, they had a line, they had the kite from the, to the boat, the boat to the kite, and then a line down to the water. And as they drove along, they were like hooning around everywhere. And this, there was a little black popper at the, or a lure or something at the bottom of the line. And they were fishing! And it clearly worked. Um, yeah, I had to keep my eye out because there was like six of them and they were going in front of the boat and around and they're having a great time. I just thought they were out there just flying kites for the day and just just having fun. <laughs> but they were actually fishing and they were, from what I saw, they were, more fish than us. they were doing well. As I told Lee, he came up and I'm like, put a popper on the fishing rod. <laughs> we are so know. keen for some fish. All right, we're going to have a night sail. Cheerio. Night. Sleep tight everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Our night sail was actually lovely, cruising along nicely at five to six knots. And my watch until 5 a.m. was no problem. Until Lee took over, the wind picked up dramatically and changed direction, squall after squall and two meter swells. And what was a beautiful sail very quickly turned into a nightmare. It moved in so quickly we didn't have a chance to reef the main further. And before we knew it, our old tired sail ripped. We pulled down the main and decided not to stop at the island we planned to, as it was a little rough, and motored on to Bandanera.
in rain and swells that weren't really pleasant at all. So we've had um, we're about 10 nautical miles from Bunda Islands. We went past the island where we thought we were going to stop. There was an anchorage there, but it's a bit too rough. Um, early hours this morning started to get really windy and we've had gone through some a few squalls and we're just going through one now. It's rain, we've ripped our sail, the front furl is jammed up. We've had better sails. But um, hopefully we can just get to our anchorage safely and up top freezing and I've just come down to see if I can make him a hot cup of coffee. Finally it cleared out enough to navigate into Bandanera. We dropped the anchor in 20 metres and pulled up in front of a little village at the bottom of Ganangapi. The rain didn't let up and we were happy to spend the rest of the day on Katalpa. The next day it was sunshine and the first thing we had to do was get our rip sail off and replace it with our spare main that we got repaired in Darwin. Rip one is off and folded, and the new one ready to roll. Placing the battens back into our main. second night here at Bender Islands. We got our main, our other spare mainsail on today so that was good and Lee fixed the furlough there was something going on with that as well so we're good to move whenever when we need to. Um, today we had a bit of a snorkel we actually went over to the dive shop to see if they had some batteries uh, spare batteries for our dive computers and he did he was the most loveliest guy and he sold us two batteries and he even uh, had a prescription lens that we could fit into Taj's mask that was the right one, um, which is just amazing. So we had a snorkel this afternoon and Taj was just blown away of how much he could see, so he's stoked. We are at the base of the volcano Ganang Api and snorkeling where the lava ran into the water after the eruption in 1988. So only 30 years ago, that's crazy. 1988, the eruption destroyed almost all the corals and marine life. And after 30 years of rehabilitation, table corals and other corals have grown at an impressively rapid rate, rarely seen anywhere else in the world. Recent studies have shown tremendous biodiversity with 310 species of reef building coral and a high population of groper and shark. So seeing the coral and fish life here was incredible. What was that? Oh, just a piece of our tender. Poor baby is falling apart. Nothing a bit of glue can't fix. That 
That afternoon, we had some boys from the local village come and visit. They were in a canoe and talking to us, practicing their English, when we thought, let's show them our lira and give them a go. After watching them flip and climb, I was pretty sure they'd be fine. So I gave a little demo, then it was their turn. Hey guys, showering on Kataupa. We do get a few questions on how we do it. Well, we don't have an internal shower on Kataupa. We do all our showering in the cockpit. Um, that seems to work quite all right for us in the remote places. But today, at the bottom of uh, the volcano here, at the Bandar Islands, we've got a little village. So there's a fair few people around. And Sarah's up top now, taking a shower. So, best I just take you up and I'll show you how she does it. Let's go. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's having a shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, as I said, this is how we do it. <laughs> Sarah's got a little squat going on down here. And, uh. Hello! Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just gonna make dinner and uh, I think we're gonna climb a volcano tomorrow. So that's very exciting. We're having tofu for dinner, so I'll just show you what we make. What I'm making. So I've got some tofu. So in there is soy sauce, sweet chili, onion and garlic. I'll put in some beans and cabbage. And over here we've got some coconut turmeric rice. So that's dinner tonight. This is our second day here in the Banda Islands. Dinner is ready. So it's about 6am and um, no one else is awake but we want to climb the volcano today so let's go wake them up. Oh, are you ready to climb a volcano? Let's go climb a volcano. Wakey wakey, Mr. Alec. I'm climbing this volcano on my own. One's out of bed. And I know what will get Lee up. This will get Lee up. Coffee. Coffee, babe. <laughs> Let's climb the volcano. The pillows that keeps moving from bed to bed. This doesn't want to wake up. We cannot climb a volcano, it's gonna to get too hot, you guys. Banana, dragon fruit, and papaya smoothie for breakfast. And off we went. So, where do we start the climb? Hmm. After asking several people, we asked this guy, Hey mate, where do we climb the volcano? Or what we actually said was, Pagi, Dimana Gapang Api. A lot of hand singles and pointing and Teramakasi, Banyo, and we found it. Here we go. Alright, we're off to climb a volcano. 
We're all smiles now. Let's see how we go. <laughs> What's the time? What's the time? Uh, nine. So Eight o'clock. The clock o'clock. say two hours. So we'll let's see be out there at go. ten. Oh, <laughs> you want to turn already? What have we been walking for? What's the time now? One minute past eight? Eight, one, oh yeah, one. <laughs> Do you want to stop? Have a break. Oh. Oh. I'm feeling old boy. Maybe I'm off on my own. Me and Bella are off. Something funny for breakfast. Come on down and out. Well, he thinks he's gonna be sick. But there's a sign. It says do not go any further. Complete, complete at your own risk. Just it. The boys, I don't know where they are. We can go without them. They're taking forever. Go on, man. They know we're in sight. I heard Dodge saying he wanted to turn back. <laughs> hello, hello. We're at another sign. We don't know what these signs mean. The boys are all way back, but we can hear them, so. They're finally, They're finally they catching up. And it's, we're wasting 10 minutes of our time, people. Move it. No, I'm going back down. No, you're going to have a rest up here. I'm going down. Well, it's been an interesting halfway. <laughs> it's not halfway. <laughs> oh, my God. Not even a quarter, mate. I found two that were enjoying themselves on the way up. I stopped. I had two flies land on my leg and they were mating. I was like, you guys have got it easy. Yeah, sex magnet. And then I walked along a bit further and I found a blowout of a, someone's shoe. Yeah, I saw that too. And then I was thinking about it. I just gotta get through the pain barrier. That's the barrier. Isn't it there? Like a barrier is there for a reason? Taz is saying turn around. I'm thinking barrier, stop, turn around. No, continue on. But what a man. You've walked for 20 minutes and you're nearly dead. <laughs> we all are. It's a, oh, man, this I isn't an easy humidity. climb. The humidity is not an easy climb and it's really hot. We, were, we should have come up at 5 o'clock in the morning, but yeah, we didn't. It's like 100 degrees. Yeah. You take a mouthful of air and it feels like you've taken a mouthful of water. Yeah, but we're nearly here a quarter of the way, so wish us luck. No, we're not. Wish us Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, hot and sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> us too. <laughs> I hear it's worth it though to get up the top. It's, it's nice up there. Yeah. It's a fair bit of clouds though. But... Okay. Oh well. Be cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be walking. It's hard coming down by the look. Yeah, it's <laughs> way tougher it's than slippery. getting up actually. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, right. Oh, great. <laughs> well, enjoy it. Thank you. Is there a helicopter coming to pick us up? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. It's your rescue, rescue copter. It's actually really hard, all these rocks and that move when you're walking, so they slide, so you gotta grab a tree quickly. How long have we been walking for, Tash? One hour, 45 minutes. We're halfway. Get over halfway, guys. You can do it. We got this. We continue our climb. Do the boys make it to the top? Yeah, they do. Do we nearly die trying to get there? Yeah, we do. So join us next time to see our struggle. But most importantly, Join us next time to see the view from the top. It was well worth it. Cheers, guys. So that was episode 81. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put a thumbs up, or if you haven't already, subscribe. Yeah, so we're sitting in Timor Leste at the moment. Not going anywhere soon because something else has broken on Catalpa. Stay tuned to find out. Ooh. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh. It all comes all thanks to you all All thanks to y'all